Hello everybody and welcome back to the show. As you can guess, it is a Blood Bowl uh, video. So, before we start, I want to say a big thank you to the Ronda Gaming Club for hosting us. They've agreed for us to have a mini tournament so we can put it out there for you guys to see. See if you like it. And come September, we've got a few uh, we got a full league. So if you want to join us, Please get in contact with the guys on Facebook, Twitter or Instagram and they'll be able to sign you up. But that's enough about the league. What we're going to say is, Sunday night is the gaming night. Thursday night is the uh, role play and board game night. But also, they've agreed for us to have uh, extra games of Blood Bowl there. So, if you want to be part of the action within the Ronda, join the fastest growing gaming group within the Ronda area. Follow the uh, follow the directions. Come and join us. Tell them that I sent you. And if you speak to them on the internet, whatever your social media platform, tell them that the noob has sent you. So, without further further ado, we're going to get into the main event. And our main event is the RBBL, which is the Ronda Blood Bowl League, which is originating from this channel which is signed off by the R the Ronda Gaming Group, the RGG so they will be a part of it so give you a heads up because I don't think I gave you much of a heads up last time it is a mini league it's a three person league it's going to be the best of five games sixth game is going to be against the top two players so it's myself as a Dark Angel T uh, Dark Angel, Dark Elf team unnamed because I'm waiting for you guys to name it because I haven't got a clue what to name them we've got Nurgle team which is called the Rotten Raiders and we've got uh, we got Griff with his goblins which I think he's calling the Bad Moons or Moon Clan I can never remember I'm going to have to get him to verify so at the end of week two, here are the standings so far. So at the moment, the league stands. I'm at the top with two wins. Uh, Baz with his Raiders with one, one, one loss one. And Griff has yet to put the points on the board. But all can change going into week three and all the other games then. Um, what we've decided to do is we're going to tell you any inducements, any new players at the start of the games. So it's going to be fresh going into it. So without further ado, let's head on over to the dugout and see what the boys have done. Because it's going to be the Raiders versus the Bad Moons. And I think we're in for a treat. I introduce it, but I don't want to give it away. So please sit back, get your cup of tea, enjoy the show. Right guys, we've got the field to play open, it is the next match, this is week two of the mini league, so it is the Rotters versus the Moon Clans, there's the Rotters, there's the Moon Clan, and yeah, battle for second places, isn't it, so, Barney, there you go, in all your glory, in all your veteran glory, Please tell us your team value, skills, and any new players. Okay, my team value is one million one hundred ninety thousand. Uh, new players is Fistiv, Broxbone. What does he do when he's at home? He just stands and gets on people's nerves and traps them with testicles. And so are you going to tell us about the the special skills when he's, we get to him? He's is really it? stupid. He's got Lola, disturbing presence, foul appearance. Uh, make it glow and yeah it's just a general roadblock basically it costs a lot as well yeah um, so work around him then yeah basically. That's, that, that's your word that's your advice yeah then i've got this chap's got block one of my glow does nice and his pesticles also got block okay 
and then I've got a rotter who's sitting on a five star player points waiting to, to level up as well. Yeah, that pest was the one I couldn't get rid of last week, and Correct, yeah. I've got yeah. two reloads to start the game with, uh, 10,000 in the treasury, so my total team value is, as I said, 1,190,000. Right, okay. Now, Griff. Griff's not feeling very talkative today, so I'm, I'm going to try and get him. He is hangover. I'm going to try and get him to say say his stuff. So, Moon Plan, tell, what can you tell us about him? Um, team value, 1,090,000. 40 heads off this week. Father Ted. Fuck! Yeah. <laughs> boy. Um, six wee rolls. Where else did he go? Uh, three, two, number. What about a bomber? What about a bomber? The bomber? Yeah. Nice. Picked up two bribes. Endorsements and easy to uh, find enough you know. Yes, you got a new skill leak from last year. Last Ooh, week. right. So you'll be able to jump over the defence because Barry knows how annoying that is now, don't you? Because I got a runner with that. So yeah, this is gonna be a good match. Um, you've also got. What well, is this your manager, by the It's our new manager. It's our new manager. Yeah. Nice. So we got. Oh, we got um. There you go, these are your turn markers at Heal Quest Goblins. And we got new balls, because nobody likes my kinds of corruption, but... <laughs> we could have used those. No, you won't. Mm-hmm. Anyway, before we get on to it, do you want to shake hands before the match? I just been to the toilet and wash my hands. Good man. <laughs> I let me know the place at the bottom of me. Do you want to call him here, fella? There go. Heads. It is heads. And um, you can kick off him. Okay. Griff's receiving. Sorry of his life. <laughs> <laughs> Let's uh, see you all after set up. Right, end of Bad Moon's turn one. Very little moved, except we, the Bad Moon's picked up the ball, protecting the ball carrier the best they can, but somebody couldn't dodge the toffee, so he's laying down, <laughs> ready to get very flopped in the next turn. So it's the Rotters of turn one, and let's see what the new style Rotters can do. End of Rotters turn one and no re rolls. And let's have a look. Where did you go? Came up to the line, met the line. Yeah, you got a goblin into the crowd, seriously injured. We're gonna work on casualties after. And you've just kind of pushed a lot. Yes, couldn't get higher than a push. So let's see how the bad moons come back. Turn two. Right, Bad Moon's turn two over. Um, we had the angriest little green shit push a, what was he? A rotter. A rotter. Not a blotter. A rotter. Um, the few got out of tackle zones to come back. Yeah, got out of tackle zones. Ah, because they're like pirates. They fight to run away. Mm-hmm. So, if you could name the film last role. I'd be impressed. Nobody's moving in the back. People are trying to gang up. So it's going into the the rotters turn two. Oh, and Griff, you used a reroll, didn't you? I did, yeah. So how many have you got left? Five. One thousand. Five. <laughs> End of rotters turn two. And we've had Pestival come up to say hello. We've got people gagging up on the angry, uh, the angry gremlin. And... Barry forgot what player Which had is. skills. Mm. I took them both down on one that didn't have a block. block. Yeah. So, Bomber and Fatty are down. 
So the bomber's not going to be able to do anything except yeah. run like a loony. Run away. Right? So we're going to go into the bad moons turn three and see if Drift can capitalize on these openings. Bad moons turn three over, and we've had a few little gobbles that I think they can. They're charging up. The angry little cap of it. Got the uh, tank rolling forward. And the pest go down, but not out. So, was it turn three? They've decided to advance rather than to run away. So, it's going to be interesting now. How are the rotters going to respond? Mm. We will find out in turn three. Right, end of the Rotten Raiders, turn three. And reinforcements are on their way down here. A few people getting reacquainted in patches. Pest goes running back, thinking that's the best defense because they don't want to head, head first into the tank. So, Bad Moon's turn four, and yeah, let's, uh, let's see how the troll will end up. I think he's going to smash face now, isn't he? So, let's see. Moon Clan, turn four, and slow advance. Uh, troll didn't do anything. Did a really stupid job. Yes, that's why he didn't do anything. Uh, still got people grouping up by here. Somebody couldn't dodge out, even with two dodges. Um, you've used another reroll on it because you're down to four. Yes. So there we go. It's slowly but surely. Oh, play it down from a bomb because the bomb is over there. So you got a lot to uh, pay back on. Shenanigans, you? isn't it? That's shenanigans. Let's see what you guys can do now, isn't it? Turn, mm -hmm. turn four. Right, Rotter's turn four. Bad, do you want to tell everyone what you were up to? I didn't achieve any much, really. Um, there was a one dice block down the bottom there, which ended up with a goblin in the knocked blocks. There was another one, two dice block from a Rotter down here, which ended up in pushes. Um, Fouled this guy on the floor, and ended up stunning him. Uh, tried to sack the bombardier again and just ended up pushing him. Moved my pest to go up the pitch and moved the rotter just to tie those guys up. The beast of Nurgle or Rotspawn has still not moved. Well, have you used any rerolls? Not since the last one, no. No, so you're still on two. I'm still on two. Right then. So we can go into turn five for the, uh, the bad moons. Correct. Or Moon Clan, what are they called? Oh, I forgot myself though. <laughs> I mean, I can come off this time. The freaking goblins turn, turn the bad moons. Five. The freaking goblins, bro. Can't even wind myself. Right then, guys. What was it? Goblins turn five. Griff, do you want to talk us through it? Not really. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's. The players. Troll has thrown Matey Boy over there. To you, then you there's six moves down to there. His mates have popped to back him up. So that horny bastard doesn't get him. Uh, bomb has thrown a bomb at that big ugly thing. And rocks him down. <laughs> and his mate. And he turned over. And they have just had a kiss and hug. Kiss and touch? Mm. Yeah, and there was a blitz for there which only resulted in a push as well. Yes, sorry. So, that was not positive to me is you talking to people on here, isn't it? Yeah, they, they, want, they want to know what's happening. Okay. Probably not. I, I doubt people watch our videos past 10 minutes anyway. <laughs> <laughs> right, so it's. You were turned five? Yeah. No, Baz? So, you were. It's scramble defence for him now, isn't it? So Very much so. Let's see how this plays out through then, isn't it? So, as Griff likes to say, we'll see you on the other side. Right, Rotter's turn five, mm -hmm. and I want to, well, I, got, I want to make an admission, I wasn't in the room. Mm -hmm. So, Baz, will you talk us through it? Okay, he's got up. Okay. Moved a little bit, first time the rocks on moved. So um, he didn't roll a one? No, he didn't roll a one. Um, he was in the window looking this week. The, the smart play was dodge out and blitz. I didn't do the smart play. I did this play instead, which was pushing that goblin over there and then having a both down after a reroll against that goblin there. 
So it's a turnover, and really all Cliff needs to do is run it in with one goal for it. I think that's probably what he's going to do. Mm-hmm. So, Goblin turn six. Uh-huh. Let's see how it goes. On the other side. Right, Goblins turn six, six and we had a bomb thrown here. Rotmoon survived, but the Rotter's down like a dribbling mess. Um, nothing happened here. One guy decided to take a closer look at the dribbling mess. We got one guy up and not out. But Griff, do you want to tell people what happened next? Yeah. Touchdown. Touchdown, bitch! And what's his name? Smelly Sock. Smelly Sock. So, we're going to set back up. Right. It's going to be Rotter's turn six. And, oh, let's zoom out. So zoomed in on our one. Right. Set back up. The ball got kicked out. And now it's gone over to there. So... You're just gonna run as fast as you can now, aren't you? Well, I've only got two turns, or three turns done. So you better Slow. get, you better get fucking running then, don't you? I better add. Let's see what you do. Right, Rotters turn six, and you come to meet their lines. Push a few players about. Still didn't, yeah, uh, you still didn't activate your rot spawn, did you? I haven't. Still gonna play in the back. Play down, eating grass. But you won not play down because he pushed him into the crowd, didn't you? Correct. So, yeah, retaliation is a key by end, isn't it? So, let's see what you can do. It's mm-hmm. Goblins turn seven. Right then, we got Goblins turn seven, it? And you've dislodged the ball. With then, a bomb. With a bomb. Best way of dislodging the ball. And the players now rocking out in the knockout. And he's fouled for that. It wasn't the bomb, was it? No, the troll from it. Because, what you call, what's your troll's name? Blunderfoot the bastard. Stuck his foot up its ass. <laughs> um, picked up the ball. Now we're starting to try to protect the ball. So, yeah, it's going to be interesting now. Because a few people got out of tackle zones. Um, you've used your last one, you know. I forgot yeah. to say in the last one, didn't I? Mm. So, you, you were down to zero. You were down to two. So, yeah, this is going to be interesting now. See what Rot is going to do. Probably create a lot of casualties now, isn't it? Don't know. Uh, I, I, that ball can't, haven't I? Are you seeing it in your eyes? Are you it in your eyes as casualty game now? I've got no rerolls. So. Mm. That's not a It's never stopped you before. Right, Moon Clan turn eight. eight, and Griff has gone defensive and has protected his ball carrier. Tried to foul the player, de- player that's down, but didn't get anywhere with that. So let's see what Nurgle can do just to take out the end of this half. So we will be back. In a bit, probably in about ten seconds when he loses a reroll. So, yeah. So you're on the other side. Right, end of the first half. Uh, you were out of rerolls. Griff was down to two. Uh, one nil to the Moon Clan. Um, just you've had a player taken out. The one of your bloaters, wasn't it? But I rolled a regen. A regen, so he's in reserves. Griff has got an extra player that's badly injured, but because of the stunty thing, wouldn't he? Because it was a 90s badly injured, so yes. he doesn't get a casualty. Yes, so, it's going to be interesting in the second half, because Griff has got one more dodge, uh, one more bribe that he can use for his bomber. 
So we're going to set back up, we're going to do all the game effects and yada yada yada, then we'll get back to before the next turn. Right, second half, we've set back up, we kicked the ball, and it's landed just being a rot spawn. Uh, it was cheering fans for the game effect, wasn't it? Yeah, second. So you managed to get an extra reroll, so it's three rerolls to six, and... Anybody's game now? Oh yeah, you were down two players, two players because three players. Yeah, you were one. So his bombardier didn't stay on because he used a bribe and he rolled a one. Yeah. So, so the red good. wasn't having any of it. Um, the knocked out player didn't come on. Did not. So and he's got ten guys on the field. Yeah. He's out of it. So Griff's. It's my turn. He's got Griff's got underpowered. Yes. But he's gonna run through the legs, isn't he? He's, he's, still, he's, got, he's still got a troll. That's, that's the game changer, isn't it? Mm, I think so, so, it's your turn. Mm. Let's see how you're going to set off the second half. See if it's nothing like the first half. Right. The, rot, the Rotten Raiders had a better start this half, didn't they? So, they had to use a reroll, so they're down to two already. But they've taken out two players. One is seriously injured, and one is out cold. See, the injured was a double six, so he did. It was a casualty. Casualty. Yeah. Don't get overexcited. No, but I get, a, I get a, a thingy though for him, so I'm happy with <laughs> Don't get too excited. We're going to play it down, play it down. Yeah. Griff is down, I know, four players now. So, yeah, I think I might uh, give the the death touch when I said, oh, you still got a troll, it doesn't mean anything. Commentator's cues. I know. So... Be sorry, but it's your turn one now, so you've got to try and show us what uh, you could do. Turn one. Let's get on with it. Right, Goblins, turn one, turn one and a few players gone up. Calling to a nice big bunch, a few good dodges. We got one of the smallest players on the pitch trying to uh, harass the ball carrier. But no, he's not even doing that. He's, he's telling old Tub over there with the signs, just like, you know, come chase me, chase me. The troll pushed the rot spawn. So, yeah, it's trying to just stop you getting further and further on the pitch, isn't it? So, Indeed. let's see what you do. Let's see if you can break up the tribe. Right then, guys. End of Rotter's turn two. You haven't used any rerolls yet, have you? No. That's so, it. what you do is you gang up on this poor little bastard down here. Didn't do anything to him, actually. Yeah. Um, you look like you'd go in to do something to it. Pushed all the stuff around you. I got yeah. the troll down, which was the main thing. Um, also, but it didn't break armour. And yeah. I tried to kick this little runt on the floor and got sent off for it. Yeah, for being a dirty cheat. Well, there we go. So look, and these, these two have a little chat, haven't they? Yep. But the ball carrier is now out on the wing in and the old thing, isn't he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's target number one there, isn't it? Indeed. So goblins turn two. Goblin, turn two on a Griff. Yeah. And you kind of freed up a few of your players. Your troll got up and kicked someone in the face. You've got a player now harassing the ball card here. You've got a player down here looks like he's running away from the bad smell. So it's a nice little defensive scramble for you. So in some shape. In some shape. Well, uh, you are you are Playing the mighty goblins with a few players down, so <laughs> you know you you decided to play the game on very hard difficulty. Mm. So there you go, Baz's turn. Let's see, let's see if you can capitalise. Here we go. We have got the Rotters. Turn three. You've used a reroll. Yeah. Um. So you've tried to tie up a few players, put a few players down. Um. Yeah, they, they look like they're going to do something bad to him. You're trying to stop this play against your, the ball carrier. Yeah. Ball carrier's not far away. Um, I don't know what else to say, except, oh, your rot spawn is... Down with the double scouts. After the re-roll, wasn't it? Yeah. So, he's been really useful so far, hasn't he? He hasn't been great, I'd have to say. So, yeah. 
you kind of had the twitchy bum bum moment when you mm-hmm. thought he was going off the pitch. Then he, he did, did, yeah. So well, when you go to ten for that, I thought, oh, here we go. Yeah. So it, after the twitchy bum moment, it's Cliff's turn. Let's see what he can do. Right, end of the goblins and push the ball carrier towards the line and there's a few people ganging up on him. Troll and a friend is ganging up on a rotter. Rotspawn is still eating grass. The captain of the team is gone up the pitch. So he's facing up. Still not happy with Well, I'm going to be honest with you. He doesn't look pretty for them. <laughs> so, again, I, I don't want to cast aspersions, but yeah, he's going to be a bitch. So it's what does turn? No, that's what's turn four. So yeah, and Griff still have news a reroll. So yeah, it's yeah. great. <laughs> Rotters turn four, and who has never done anything before? Great. <laughs> <laughs> We've had somebody push apart the goblins to get a touchdown. That sounds so dodgy. Push apart the goblins. Oh, well, no offense, you noble. Know, <laughs> the only thing different from the is Slanesh, and then I would have been making a lot of S and M puns. So, mm. so one all. We've still got was it four turns? Yeah, I got four four turns. Crystal five. So, so we're gonna set back up and come back after Griff's turn. We've set back up. We've kicked off. The ball has ended up there. What was it? He was getting the ref, so that was he, he bribes. Yeah, so, we got a bribe each. So there you go. So he was, we got defence and the attack in all its glory. Right next to your troll as well. So it, this could be interesting. It could be very interesting. Mm-hmm. So let's get on with that. Griff, it's your turn. Turn three. Turn four. Turn four. Just preempted him. Just preempted him. Well, I was just. He was going to move again. I, I done the same with you. Right, end of, was it the Moon Clan or Bad Moons or whatever his team is called? The Bad Moons. Is the turn four. I keep calling Moon Clan, don't I? I've probably done that the whole way through with Bad Moons. They've castled up there now because there's a nice little cage. That's, a, that's an A-star there, isn't it? That's, that's, that's an A-star. You're a very brave goblin. Over the other side, so yeah, just gotta try and unlock it. Use the players like a pick lock, you know. So let's get on with it. And you still got no revo. Chris still got five. five. <laughs> yeah. He says we're five. But five, they never ended. Right, end of the Rotten Raiders turn five, and. You dislodged the ball carrier up the cage, you know. Knocked the ball carrier out. But the Bang. ball is still in goblin hands. It's bounced into the sand, yeah. Yeah, so you unlock the cage only to find somebody else run away with the guns. Indeed. So you've got some players now coming backwards just in case. A nice big scattering throughout, but mm-hmm. I, I'm, I'm guessing Griff is. Is this two? Turn six, is it? No, it's five. Turn five. Turn five with five re rolls. It's, it's shocking. <laughs> yeah, he's just gonna. Let's see what Blunderfoot can do. Right, end of Goblins, turn five. And a few players moved out to tackle zones. Unfortunately, this one couldn't dodge the trophy. <laughs> but the player of the game so far, Troll moved up, decided he didn't like the player, threw him all. Uh, up by here and then the player ran away thinking the goblin was coming after him so it's quite close mm, very close so let's go into the rotten raiders turn and yeah, to see if they can stop the touchdown right raiders turn six and uh, we've got play again gang bang there we've got so another has uh, been stunned. Yeah, we got two testicles. Test, test goal coming over here now. The ball carrier has been, ball has been down. Dude, that's a bad focus, I did that. Oh, bloody hell. <laughs> but ball carrier is down. Ball is open. There's been a few players around there. But I know. Tross has got a bit of ammunition to take out some players, I think. So let's see what Griff can do now. 
Goblins, turn six. Mm-hmm. They've lost a reroll because he forgot to move a marker, so it's a legal procedure. No. That's right. Um, and, yeah. yeah. Calm down, yeah. Barry. Don't get too excited. You're a veteran, remember? You get too excited or affect you too much. So, player got thrown down here, made it all the way down here, and then couldn't pick up the ball. So the ball is in the open over there. A uh, few players turned over, but yeah, it's the wrong end of the field for you, wasn't it? Uh, so, Very good. let's see how you deal with it. Right. What does Britain read as? Turn seven. Turn seven. Um, ganging up on this boy bear. Couldn't foul him off the pitch. Pesco was coming to get the ball. Stunned. Very stunned from a foul over here. Bloater's chasing our guy in red down by there. A few, a few players knocked down. There's a lot less ammo for the troll. Pesco is hoping for a long bomb. <laughs> but now it's the goblin's turn and let's see how it goes. Okay. Right, end of goblin's turn. Nothing changes here. <laughs> Nothing changes here. The mad cap tried to dodge out. He got out of one tackle zone and a tentacles, mm-hmm. but failed the next tackle zone. So, that was a very quick turn. <laughs> no amount of rerolls could save him from that. So it's going on to turn eight, turn eight oh, of turn. the Rotten Raiders. Right. Rotten Raiders turn eight, and it was their last turn. All counting on this pest to go. Picking up the ball and throwing it to him, which he couldn't even throw it past the first square, so it's landed over here. And now it's all down to. It's all down to Griff. <laughs> I ended that. I ended that cut a little early then, didn't I? All, right. all down to Griff. It's been a very long night. I gotta be honest. It's hard. To hard for Griff. He's been. He's had a. He's had a. Yes. Yes. We're not going to it because you like to swear. Right, end the game, end second half, one all draw, this ball was unreachable, so Blunderfoot decided to teabag this player. So, draw game. Right then guys, that's it, that's the end of the game, I hope you all enjoyed. It's been one of the longer videos, but... Before the next game, which is going to be me versus Griff, it's going to be the Dark Elves versus the Bad Moons. We will go through any injuries, any um, uh, skill upgrades, so we can keep you all up to date on that. Um, if you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button. If you disliked the video, there's the down button. But tell us why you didn't like it. If it's something we can change, we'll try and change it ready for the next game um, before I go uh, we've, scra- uh, we've scrapped Patreon um, we've kept the PayPal open but we've also got a Teespring account so head on over and type in Noob with the Brush and you should be able to find us there's a few more designs that are going to be popping up soon um, and I think that's it I don't want to keep you too long because you, you've been good enough to watch the video um, please share amongst your friends if you're not a subscriber please subscribe and I'll catch you in the next video till then my friends see you again